Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 108 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series, where we're exploring the catacombs of the Undergarden. I have no idea what to expect here. Literally not. This could be like five minutes, or it could be the whole episode. I have no clue. All I know is that there's some kind of boss that we're going to have to fight at the end, which is the Forgotten Guardian, and then he will eventually drop Forgotten Ingots? And, or, or nuggets, and we can craft them into ingots. And that's all I got. That's all I got. So let's check this place out. Now I'm going to try um, to, to treat it like an <clears throat> actual dungeon. So I'm not going to like just like go digging through and like cheesing my way to the end. I mean, I have no idea what to expect here. No idea whatsoever. Wow, there are a lot of these little dudes. I'll tell you that much. I figured out why there's a lot of these little dudes. I think there's a spawner for them. You think they'll, you know, respond to light? At least they don't have a lot of health, so you can, like, one-shot them pretty good. With a bow and arrow. Really curious about the statues for mod bats that show up here, because I haven't seen them in other areas? Dude, I love this bow. So I guess you have to break the spawner in order to- ooh! Soulbound. Okay, cool. Some pie. Gotta love some pie. I guess you gotta break the spawner if you want to get to the chest. I mean, obviously you can just break the chest, right? Um, that's another option. See, thinking outside the box right there. Uh, hey, I got a Magnet 1 Clogram pickaxe. Sweet. And some frosty nuggets. Okay. Cool. Keep my inventory clean, as we've been doing. Do -do 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 -do. I don't think we need these guys anymore. I'm back to using my normal stuff. And I'll leave those guys in case I decide I want to farm them in the future. I like the catacombs. They're neat. There's these blocks here, which are cool looking. I love mods like this. Like, I mean, I just, I, I geek out over the whole, you know, dimension mod like Twilight Forest or this, or, you know, there's, there's a handful of mods, the Beneath, right? Um, that, that we've seen that just add like a whole exploration mechanic to Minecraft, which I think, like, there's not enough of those mods, right? There's just so many options out there for mods. I would love to see more of this. And I'm sure this, you know, obviously this requires a lot more time and effort. Like it requires a whole, a whole thing, right? Um, rotlings, two rotlings. All right. I ain't gonna worry about you guys. I'm just gonna look in the chest. Eh, regalium and get a nugget. Okay, that's cool. High damage and very low durability. Ender Disruption 5. I mean, yeah, why not? I would love to see more mods like this, is, is basically the gist of what I'm getting at here. Now that's interesting. There's a chest, but there's no... Ah. I'll take the regality. I'll take the music disc, too. Now, is this... That's also a rotling and a rotling. Sweet. Vein of arthropods, excavate, and silk touch. I mean, considering I was just asking if I had a silk touch tool last episode, it might not be a bad idea to hang on to that guy. Just in case I need it for something. Yeah? Cavalier. Food. Not that we really have a need for food. But also, why not? Projectile torches is also a nice thing. Scorching heat and soul bound. No idea what scorching heat does, but it sounds cool. Man, these catacombs are very maze-like, which I think, you know, is not uncommon for a place called the catacombs, but... Uh, these guys... I 100% thought that that was something under And I 
And of course it wasn't. So does this... Okay, the, this is the... Some kind of tunnel system breaking through my catacomb generation. Okay, that's fine. So we need... I don't know if there's any indication of when we get to the end. But I'm also kind of using the areas that have been lit up as, you know, an indication that I haven't... <laughs> that area yet. I'm definitely grabbing the regalium because it looks to me like that's either only traded from those dudes or or not, right? So only those dudes trade that regalium or you find it from the chest. I don't I didn't see any other place to get regalium more. Though there is regalium more in the undergarden, so maybe it's just rare like diamond and it's just like super uncommon underground. I don't know. Normally I use torches for this, because it's really obvious when you see torches, but I think the red particle effects and the lighting is good enough. Like, that area has obviously been well explored. And so is this, but not this one, right? Let's try and make sure that we've, you know, accurately... Wow, these things are really complicated. Yeah, I wasn't sure if these catacombs would be like, you know, five minutes worth of content, or if it would be an entire episode to get through. I have no idea. I'm quickly learning that it's the latter. I mean, at some point I'm gonna say, alright, this is getting repetitive, and I'll stop, and we'll just come back, but I do want to at least explore a portion of this on camera before we get to the end of it. And I wonder what the ingot is at the end. Because I don't remember seeing any tools. Right. Some kind of ingot. Oh, there they are. Okay, cool. Forgotten Sword. Deals 2x damage to non-boss Undergarden mobs. Sweet. I guess that's what the Forgotten Ingot does. So the sword looks cool. I'm not sure if the tools have anything special about them. That's just, that's just like a cave. There's nothing... As far as I can tell, at least. Okay. More music discs, more stuff. Make sure to light up the area that you go through to make sure... I mean, there's a lot of tunnels and paths that we haven't followed because there's a lot... Hello! Forgotten Guardian. I think we just found the boss. I wonder if there's more than one of these. Wow, he hurts. Holy cow, does he hurt. We need to be very careful about how much he hurts. Yeah, he hurts. They have the amount of action. Running away! Got you. Decommissioned. Definitely a boss mob, because we got the epic shader grab bag, and we got some forgotten nuggets. Eight of them, not enough to make an ingot. Hurts a little bit. Now, that boss was not standing in what looked like a boss room. Like, he was standing here. This does not look like a boss cha <laughs> chamber to me. So I'm suspecting that he's just a rare spawn anywhere in here. Kinda, kind of, obviously rarer than, but kind of like wither skeletons can only spawn in, you know, nether fortresses. So... Like, is it possible there's more of them in here? Because that would be cool. Reactive 3. I should bring a mob imprisonment tool down here, and then I can farm them if I decide I want to. I mean, I'm just thinking outside the box a little bit. Some cool music discs, though. I like that. Right? Isn't that cool? Yeah! Alright, so two things. One, I just found another Forgotten Guardian. So, FYI about that. He has a lot of health, but he's otherwise easy, because he moves very slowly, he doesn't have a long range of attack. He does do a lot of damage when he hits you, but he's otherwise not all that hard to kill. Now, the last one dropped eight nuggets, this one dropped two. 
So I'm assuming, number one, that looting absolutely helps, and number two, that I was just very unlucky. The other point I wanted to bring up is he was once again in this kind of a corner. So, I don't know if that's, like, where they spawn, like, look for corners like that, and they might spawn there, or if that was just a coincidence. I have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. I have no idea if that was coincidence or what, but, you know, we'll chalk that up to I have no idea. I really don't. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we'll keep an eye out, though, and if we can, if, if we find him in any other new, new location, I'll let you know. What I'm gonna do is continue exploring this, this place a little bit. It's really quite big, actually. It's really, really quite big. Hey, look, here's another... Here's a way out. That's cool. What's that thing? What are you? That's a new thing. A Gloomper. Hello, Gloomper. You are adorable. What in the world? Raw Gloomper legs. <laughs> and here I thought I had seen almost everything. Uh, but no. Undergarden surprised me. A new thing. So yeah, let me, let me just explore a few more minutes in here. I'm just gonna see if I can find... Um, number one, another one of those things. And number two, if it's gonna be in the same kind of alcove type place. No idea. I'll be back. Alright, I feel like I've covered a lot of ground here. There's probably more that I haven't covered. Yeah, look, here's some. Oh, uh, look, there, there we go. Another Forgotten Guardian. Cool. So, definitely looks like they hang out in those little alcove things. Goodness, that thing hurts. Definitely want to get the fortune of it. Thank you. Oh man, no looting applied. Well, maybe it did, but eh, it's still three. But yeah, look, like these alcove definitely seem to be where those Forgotten Guardians hang out. So that's what you're looking for. Um, that's the third one I found in these catacombs, which is nice. Definitely indicates that there's more than one of them around. Uh, neat. Alright, so that might be all there is to the Undergarden. I don't know if there's anything else. Uh, now, ooh, look. Obtain all five tools. Alright, build a sentry. Create a forgotten minion using a forgotten block and a carved blood gloom. You don't say. Build in a sentry. It says a forgotten block. So, like, my question is, which forgotten block? Because, I mean, we might have enough nuggets for one ingot. Maybe an ingot and a half? I definitely don't think we have enough for two. Um, so we'd have to kill a lot of those guardians if we want three blocks. Do we, do we want three blocks? I have no idea. Obtain all five forgotten tools. Yeah, buddy. I mean, part of me wants to, like, go find a mob imprisonment tool and capture... <laughs> capture one of those guys and figure out how to, like, farm him. Maybe-ish? At this point, I'm not interested in the chest. I'm only interested in finding another one of those guardian dudes. Now, they they might count as bosses, and Mob Imprisonment Tools may not be able to pick them up. Like, I'm pretty sure Mob Imprisonment Tool can't grab, like, the Wither. Or an Ender Dragon, right? But I'm not 100% sure if they count as bosses. They drop the Shader Grab Bag, which I'm pretty sure all bosses drop. So, Immersive at least sees them as a boss. Um... You know. So they're probably not, you know, farmable, really. Interesting, though. Yeah, we'll see. I probably won't do that, just because it seems like a lot of farming of these dudes, and wandering around inside this this place is getting, is getting old to me. And if it's getting old to me, it's probably getting old to you all, too. So, uh, let's head back home and check out some of the loots that we got uh, from the Arnegard and just see what they got, you know, available, how they work. And we'll play with them a little bit. Does that sound cool? So, popping home. <sighs> it's good to be home. Been a while. Been a while. So I think the easiest way to figure out what we got from the Undergarden is just go to our refined storage system and look it up. So, uh, Undergarden, Diamond, and Gold Ore we got from our 
thingy up there, right? The, the, the astral sorcery thingy. So we're not going to worry about that. We got some discs. We got some glumper legs. That's the thing that I killed at the very end there. Well, it's not bad health and saturation, to be honest with you. So that's kind of cool. Blood mushroom, shard torches, um, gloom gourds. Uh, let's go plant some gloom gourd seeds. Uh, let's also check out the mushrooms, maybe. I'm curious if all of these can be, like, bone mealed into growth. Right, might be cool. Um, these are the forgotten nuggets, which we can turn into an ingot. But yeah, getting a getting a blocks worth of that, very no. Getting three blocks worth, I don't know if you need three blocks or one block. But normally, don't you need like, if you're gonna make an iron golem construct, which is I assume what you're being told to make there, then don't you want something like a pumpkin? And actually, it's four blocks of iron, isn't it? Yeah. So like the gloom gourds are pumpkin equivalents. So I gotta imagine you need four blocks of this forgotten... Yeah, I don't know about that. Maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you only need one. I am unsure. So we got the frost steel, which is cool. We could smelt that up if we wanted to. We did get some regalium. We didn't find any regalium uh, ore, but we got regalium ingots. So that's kind of neat. Um, you can be smelted up, buddy. What else did we get from the Undergarden that we might want to check out? Uh, lots of Ethereum. Enough for a single block's worth. So those rotten blister berries I wanted to check out. So we need a twisty twig? Is that what we need? So we want Wigglewood planks. A couple twisty twigs. I mean, it says blister bomb. Does it actually like, is it like throwable TNT-ish type thing? I don't know. Let's go over here and find out. Yeah, <laughs> it very much is. That is cool. We got to find out if, uh, if those are farmable. We definitely got to find that out. That is hilarious. I like that. So, yeah. Let's check out from Undergarden. There is the blister berries. And then there were um, these two things were farmable, it looks like. Under beans was another thing. So blister berries, can I like plant you or something? We're gonna go check out all these things and see what we can do with them. Right? Um, so under beans plant on grass. These things, I assume, are for tilled earth. Blister berries also plant on grass. Now, are they affected by bone mealing effects? A la... This dude. Yes. Beautiful. So that's very farmable. Can this be right-clicked? It extra duper, super duper can. So we can either... we could, we, If we wanted to, we could easily farm this. Right? And you also, under beans, are farmable. What do you make, by the way, under beans? Are they just straight up eatable? Yeah, that's it. You can just eat them. You can eat them raw. And this guy you can get lots of blister berry for. Is there another way to get rotten blister berry? Neither of these have a recipe, so it's probably just doing what I'm doing. Well, that's exciting. How about over here, gloom gourds? Now, the problem with these is likely to be that I don't know I don't know how you're gonna respond to pumpkins I have no idea oh you don't want to go on tilled earth okay maybe you need water do you not have water in you ah apparently not apparently not just pop over to a water source No water at all. It might be that it has to be... Oh no, okay, interesting. Gloom gourd seeds, huh? Where do I plant these then? If not on tilled farmland... Hmm. I'll have to investigate that. Uh, does the thing here tell me? Plant a gloom gourd seed. Nope. No indication as to where to plant it. Alright, now let's see about this stuff. Because I'm super curious about this and I wasn't quite sure how this works. Does this grow? 
these mushrooms. They definitely don't go go on normal grass, but maybe they'll go on the undergarden grass. So if we got our this thingy, deep soil. Just testing. Oh yes, they get they get planted on deep soil. Okay, cool. So then if you're in water. Alright, that's good to know. And then we bone meal you. Aha! Ah! They do grow. That's cool. Now do you like poison the water or something? Because they it definitely looked like that, right? And I couldn't tell for sure. If that was causing water poisonings. I think it was the blood run one that was definitely doing it. Um, yeah. Remember, this is basically the same as a bone meal effect. So. That's cool. I like those. I like those mushrooms. They're neat. They are very cool. Well, at least now we know how they work. I couldn't figure out how to plant gloom gourds. Maybe they need to be deep soil too, you think? You think deep soil can be tilled? I don't know any answers to any questions. Let's find out. Yes. Yes. Ha-ha. Ha-ha. Now, this does not speed up the growth ticks. It just applies a bone mealing effect. Uh, and as a reminder, bone mealing effects do not cause pumpkins to grow. Only sped up tick growth can. Um, so that's an important note. Now he seems to be planted without water, which is cool. But I guess that's how you get your gloom gourds. And then they grow like pumpkins, right? So there you go. Nice. I really like that mod. I think that mod is cool. You guys have to let me know what you think, but... I really enjoyed the ambiance of that dimension. That whole dimension from start to finish was awesome. And I know it's very much a work in progress mod, so I'm really excited to see what more comes from that mod development team because really, really cool mod. All right, now that we're back from the undergarden, let's come over here and check this out. Hey, 16 Chironite crystals, not bad. Uh, let's real quick see what we're going to need to get to the next tier of environmental tech just so that i know what to how much we need to wait for right um i think he did make this cheaper to upgrade which is nice because before didn't it require blocks of these or something stupid like that so we need six chironite crystals just to get to the chironite void or miner and then in order to make frames tier three number one we need 44 of those frames and frame tier three requires the tier two frames and some chironite interconnects, which are four chironite each. Okay, so four times 44 is what we're going to need. So we do need quite a lot of chironite. Like, are we going to, you know, let's just say uh, we're going to need like three stacks of chironite and then we'll be good. So that's good to know. We're, we're a ways off from that being a thing. And like I said, I'm I'm pretty sure this resists all forms of tick accelerating. So rats and whatnot, none of that's going to be helpful. Uh, what else should we peek at? Because I'm I'm kind of done with Undergarden. We only have a few minutes left in this episode, so I kind of basically just want to figure out what to wrap up uh, or talk about because I need to plan for what our next episodes are going to be. How's everything going over here? Um, are you guys all empty? You are. Good job. So we did clear out all our antimatter. So this is actually allowed to run at this point. Um, we got a decent amount. Ten buckets of antimatter stored in here. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. I still don't know exactly what I'm going to do with antimatter. But it's pretty cool to see. It's pretty cool to see. Uh, we obviously have tons of fuel uh, available for us. Uh, everything's kind of shut off at the moment. So... This kind of happened a couple episodes back and I didn't mention it, but I'll mention it now since we're kind of just doing some miscellaneous stuff for the end of the episode here. Pretty sure we filled up our induction matrix. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that's why my reactors are off because I left my reactors running uh, and I'm pretty sure what happened is my induction matrix filled up and what wound up probably happening is the steam back stuffed in here and overflowed and overflowed and then overheated and then triggered the shutdown automatically. 
Like we could probably turn both of these guys on and demonstrate that because we probably have a pretty close to amount of stuff. So you're doing you're doing just fine. Um, if we came over here, I'm debating if I want to do fusion. What do you guys think? Should I do fusion for mechanism? You need to let me know what you think about that. So this won't take long for this to fill up, right? And then once this fills up, right, when we get to 1.79 here, I want to I wanna validate that this is what happened. Um, but when we get to 1.79 here, which shouldn't take too long, I'm going to go back over to my fission reactor and just see that that's what happened. All right, 1.79. So just validating here. I should re-equip my quantum armor too. Probably do that real quick. While nobody's looking. Mostly while waiting for the last 100 billion RF or whatever that number is. There we go. Much better. So at some point, we're going to start backstuffing on RF here, right? And once that happens, this thing stores, by the way, 13 billion RF. But I don't think that's going to take that long to backstuff. But once that happens, we should see everything shut off. I just want to validate this for you guys, because I, I noticed my reactor turned off around the same time my power, and we didn't have any radiation leakage, so I just kind of want to confirm that. Yep, here it goes. It's filling up. Nice. So in theory, what's going to happen is you're going to fill up, you're going to stop processing steam, your steam's going to fill up, and then your heated coolant is going to fill up, and then everything is going to shut down, right? And kind of the same deal over here, right? You are probably also filling up at a similar rate. Yeah. I mean, it's not getting as much RF, but like it's percentage-wise kind of filling up in an equal way. So as soon as this kicks over, right? I'm just kind of curious because I don't, we've never actually seen this thing back stuff on power on this thing before, right? So pretty soon you're going to back stuff all your steam. Zoop. Everything shut down. Did you see it? It happened very quickly. It happened very quickly. Holy cow, did that happen fast. That happened very fast. But it worked. It did what it was meant to do. Should we see that again? And this guy's off too, isn't he? Not yet, but he's going to be momentarily. Zoom. Disabled. See it? See the heat spike? And now the water's filling itself back up. That is spectacularly cool. You even have a little bit of hot sodium left in you, don't you? Look at that. You have some extra coolant in your coolant tank. Wow. Wowzers. Wowzers. That is a thing right there. Holy cow. Zoom. <laughs> Neat. Completely out of water. Everything. And the, and the protections worked. How great is that? That the protections worked. Everything behaved as you would want it to. There's a there's a proof of our failsafe system working as intended. I love it. Look, look, what what is going what are you doing in my house? Rude. Look, I appreciate, but still, you're a salesman entering my house uninvited. That's pretty against the law. Alright guys, so I think that's a good wrapping up point for the episode. Just, you know. Had some free time, wanted to check that out. Not sure what we're going to do next episode. I have to plan for what we want to check out. There's still a few things we haven't done in this mod pack. We haven't really investigated Batania much. We haven't touched Nature's Aura. We haven't done Fusion from Mechanism. I might want to do that. Because Fusion from Mechanism might be a nice way to just amp up our antimatter production even more. Not that Fusion will get us antimatter, but that um, Fusion will power the antimatter breakdown process. And that might be cool. Um... I think there's probably a handful of other mods as well that we probably haven't touched on and a few other things to do. So plenty more to do in this series before we wrap it up. For now, Devil20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time and do something. I'm not sure yet. What? All right, guys. Take it easy.